Well, <clears throat> what was it like really, me as a kid, I was always, I was always into myself. You know, I was the kind of person I wanted to be different from everybody else. Just like when I used to listen to other DJs, everybody played the same music, the okay, same so way. Yeah. You know, I wanted to be different. Yeah, because all records have grooves in it, and 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 usually the 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 the, the best part of the record had the heavier grooves in it. So you take the needle and put it to the heavy part of the groove of the record, and then you just wait. And Your hands have to be so steady at the same time fast that you can pick the needle out of the groove and move it exactly two grooves back. Two grooves. Two grooves. Two grooves back on a record with a needle. That's like the needle in the haystack theory. <laughs> so I remember when I was in the house and, and I came home from school and, you know, I was just in the room just messing around with the record. I think I was about 13, 14 years old, you know. And my mother was banging on the door telling me, you know, cut that music down. <laughs> so I stopped the music and she opened the door and she was talking to me. At the same time she was talking to me, I felt myself, you know, moving the record, you know, back and forth and, and forth and back while she was talking to me because I wanted to keep that same groove I was on. So I was talking to her and I was listening to the record and I was like back and forth and I said to myself, hey, <laughs> this sounds pretty good, yeah, you know? <laughs> so I started practicing it, you know, practicing it different and different and it became, it became a scratch. The part of the record that you want it's the part, you see break beats here. When the B comes around, that's where your beat is at, right there. The record comes on at the B, that B right there. Always, always. You can never wake up the next morning and make it get crazy with you and say, I'm gonna come in on the E or the T or anything. It's always on the B, you know when you get this record, and leave it right there at the B. You know it's going to be there. The first time I heard a scratch was actually hearing Grandmaster Flash do some little, <clears throat> which was kind of primitive at that, at, at where we know now. But at that time, it was magic. It was like Grandmaster Flash throwing this record in, and I. I, I, and it was like, yo, that's incredible. But then the second time I heard the sax was when I ran out the park and went home to practice it. So it was like I was always, I was at that point, whereas if the pioneers brought it out, it wasn't too long before the, um, the secondary pioneers was up on it. People like me, like a Flash did it today, I'll be in the park the next day doing either the exact same scratch or something that I perfected on my own in, you know, in the lab. Master.